Anyway, um, I thought I'd show you what's going on here today. This is kind of like a, a diary. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the Cosmic Cruiser is on the wall here. Uh, old poster. Actually, this is an old photograph uh, that I had done. We scanned an old poster. But anyway, uh, that's in the room. And, uh, of course, you've seen the paintings and uh, that kind of stuff. And so while we're... Uh, I just had to get this out this week. I don't know why. No particular reason, but I decided to paint this. And um, I started, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago, just sketched it out, did a little bit of layout on the flames and promptly put it away. And uh, actually it was at the side of the fridge the other day, I was cleaning up, trying to get to some parts and here we are. We dragged it out and uh, we kind of put the shits to it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so since this is the, uh, the inner workings of this... Uh, well, I thought maybe I'd show you some of this detail. There, there's my uh, big seascape. A little bit of detail, but anyway. Yeah, I thought I'd show you what's going on with the cruiser today. It's indoors. Um, we had to uh, fix the uh, brake booster. The brake booster was acting up, and I thought, uh, ugh, we need to fix that before we take, take in another season. But anyway, then I'm looking at the cruiser, and I'm going, well, people have never actually seen this in this light. So I thought I'd show you what the hell it looks like in natural light. This is where I painted it. So it, it was in this kind of light that I painted it. So it has a whole totally different look. Of course, I use it as a shelf. When I get crazy and I paint and I don't want to even drag out my paint bench and all that other nonsense, what do I need that for? I got the cruiser right there, put the colors on there. But uh, yeah, so this is how much you can uh, you can see uh, without uh, a whole lot of uh, sunlight. She looks a little different because. With a lot of sunlight, the colors are much more transparent, so they're not as dark as they appear here. Although, I do paint, I try to paint, <laughs> for all uh, differences, you know, all the, the, all the lights. You know, if we have a lot of light, I want a certain look, and if we have a low light, uh, I'm going to go for something else altogether yet. So that uh, when the people walk right over to it, they're going to see right into the ocean, see the, the trails down there. And that's, that's reflection on the bottom of the sea from the light, from the light that the waves give you. Okay, so you got you to you gotta understand that I try and tell the whole story when I try and paint. Anyway, so now as you see, we can get in darker here. And this is our little uh, stalactite of rust here. We gotta get get that cleaned up. Um, apparently, I got some water under the roof this year during the winter. The van sat out in the winter all winter. It was outside. It's actually filthy, dirty. Believe it or not, I haven't even washed it yet this year from the whole winter. But it doesn't seem to do it any harm, does it? Mm hmm. Yeah, so this is what I play with, like this kind of stuff you see here, the rock. Um, yeah, just about anybody can paint a rock, but can they twist your mind and make, let you see the shadow and make sure that it's bulging out when it isn't? I don't know. People tend to miss the boat on that kind of stuff. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, lots of little de details. See, there's, there's a little guy, pissed off looking Pete over here. You know, I get bored and I squeeze in a bunch of subliminal stuff in there that uh, I can only tell adults to. <laughs> it's actually. Yeah, so anyway, this is getting darker and darker now because we're going towards the back of the van where there is no light, actually. So, yeah, it still stands up. You see all the dirt? <laughs> yeah, it's full of dust and everything. And um, that's it. You see where the light is? That's the end of the light. That's my garage door. So that's where we are. Yeah, it's a little building I designed. 
put it on stilts so that uh, we're not uh, messing up the nature. I figured it's a lot easier to put it on four, four blocks and you still have the hole underneath of the house to use as a outdoor patio, if you will. And you get up on the second floor there through that staircase and you get to use the view. <laughs> anyway, I was just being silly. <laughs> I just painted it. Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You want to go back in the water, do you? Okay, I'll show you the water again. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's why uh, I kind of keep to myself on this stuff. I don't even bother publishing it in some of these airbrush magazines. It seems like they're only interested in... Uh, not interested. Not, I'm not saying that they're not interested in my stuff. I'm just not interested because they're, all they're printing is friggin' skulls and more skulls and every friggin' second page is a skull. Not interested. Thank you. I don't even want to be there. Bye for now.